Let's give it up for our movie critic, the one and only Rocco Pasafume. Thank you very much, Howie. Um, it is my great pleasure to uh, review this week one of the most highly anticipated movies of the year. It is none other than Anchorman 2. The Legacy Continues. It is directed by Adam McKay, and it stars Will Ferrell, Steve Carell, Paul Rudd, and David Kushner. Network News anchor Ron Burgundy, played by Pharrell, and his wife, Veronica Corningstone, played by Christine Applegate, have their relationship in turmoil after she's pa she, he has passed up for her for a promotion. When Burgundy and his old team are offered a chance to work for a new cable news channel, they pretty much abandon every single principle that they ever had in the name of being successful and one-upping their competition. Basically, the incredible thing about the original Anchorman, which I love so much, was that it was a great satire of news. I, my background in, journal, um, in college was journalism, actually. But um, it was also great. It was very funny and was very, um, it, it was very spot on, too. Um, and Will Ferrell was fantastic in this. The sequel, I think, does a very good job of recapturing what was so great about the first movie. It's not quite as memorable as the first film, but it's still very good enough. And, and considering cable news has become like a good um, fodder for um, you know, jokes and, and stuff like that, I think, I think the second movie is just brilliant well done and, and it's very spot on and you know it still has the same kind of you know out there random humor that people are going to love about the first movie so even if it's not quite as you know it, it doesn't have that same kind of classic status perhaps as the first movie I think you will still enjoy it it's definitely one to see during the Christmas season so I definitely give Anchorman 2 Legend Con Continues 3 out of 5 stars so thank you okay. Rocco you stay right there give it yes. up I want to bring Mayor up little uh, dual segment here. I want to ask everyone in the audience. This came from Forbes magazine. There's a reason why I'm having these two for this next segment. Yes. I'm going to ask everyone in Forbes magazine. The year 2013, who was the most, the highest paid movie star? Who made the most money making movies? Do you think it was Tom Hanks? No. 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 Do you think Robert. it was Leonardo DiCaprio? No. no. Do you think it was Robert De Niro? No. no. Now do you want to know who was the highest paid actor in Hollywood for the year 2013? It was The Rock, yes. the former professional wrestler. Yes. Rocco, what do you make of The Rock yes. being the most highest paid actor in 2013? The former wrestler yes. made more money than any other actor on the, in the world in 2013. Um, I think in regards to um, The Rock or Dwayne Johnson, as he likes to be called now, um, his rise to Hollywood is just... It's just one of those great American dream stories, you know, coming out of a, of a, of a sport like professional wrestling, sports entertainment um, venue. Um, he always had the talent. He possessed a lot of great um, acting skill when he was doing his um, microphone segments um, on the re you know, in the ring and all that. But I feel like the fact that he managed to go into acting, like he, it shows that he, how tremendously smart he is. He's done a lot of great movies. I mean, even if the movies aren't the best, like he brings so much to the roles, and he's such a great actor and such a great presence that he really shows just like what it takes to really succeed in, in Hollywood today. So I, I definitely think it's no surprise that um, Dwayne Johnson has come as far as he has. And I think he's a great talent, and I think he's come. He's really shown me somebody who thought that. You know, his rock character was a little too belligerent for my taste. I love Dwayne Johnson. I really respected him once he became an actor. Mayor, are you surprised that The Rock has made this amazing, successful transition from wrestling to acting? Well, I'm not surprised at all. I think The Rock, um, known as Dwayne Johnson, did a fabulous job in all his movie careers, as well as in the ring in WWE. Mm -hmm. Personally, I was, I saw him twice in person. Yes. WrestleMania 28, I was there. Miami, Florida, the People's Ring. Yes. And WrestleMania 29, MetLife Stadium. Yes. Both memorable. Both memorable. Yes. John Cena, a um, a rated G, rated character versus the Attitude Era Rock. Yes. I think The Rock is very memorable, and I think that The Rock is going to make it. So Team Bring It versus Team CN Nation. I'm Team Bring It. Quinn, you love video games, don't you? We have an expert here on video games, so how about you ask him what video game, what video game do you want for Christmas? What's your favorite video game, Quinn? I don't know. What's your All favorite, right. favorite DS game? What's your favorite DS game? Mexico Mario? It's hard, it's hard to think of it. 
<laughs> all right, all right. But Mayor, uh, how about you helping Quinn out? What should he buy for his uh, his uh, Christmas present for his video game? All right. Um, I think Come that here, um, I think that um, PS4 and Xbox 360 or Xbox One is for the more adult generation. I think I would say go with the Nintendo Wii U. What do you think, Quinn? Good idea. You with that? Do you like Mario? Well, Mario has a brand new game. It's called Mar Super Mario 3D World, and I think that you should get it for Christmas. All right, you gonna tell mommy and daddy you want that for Christmas? Tell mommy you want the Wii U. All right, there you go. It's only a Christmas present was granted to Quinn from Mayor. What do you think about that, Liz? Oh, I'm loving it. Can't wait for Santa to come. <laughs> All right. All right. All right, we're going to take our final break of the evening. Uh, we're having a lot of fun. David Cassie, having fun? Having a blast. Bob Shirley, having fun? Out of sight. <laughs> Alfred, are you ready to sing one more song for us? As always, yes, Howie. All right, all right, we're going to take our final break. Does everybody love the Blue Bungalow? <laughs> Jay Bird is hooked. Hook. David Kaz is hooked. I'm hooked. We all love the Blue Bungalow. I am Halftime Howie. This is broadcasting on the beach with Halftime Howie. Coming to you live from the Blue Bungalow, on Long Island's first and oldest station, AM 1240, WGBB.